Hey babes, so to first get started, I'm starting with my hair and I'm using my Kenra Professional Leave-In Conditioner. I'm, I just use it in a little Target bottle. And then I'm going to comb that through to make sure it goes through most of the strands in my hair. This is going to keep my hair healthy and less frizzy. Then I'm going in with my E-Salon uh, Heat Protectant Spray and just going to apply that all over my hair. This is going to help protect my hair and preserve it from all the heat styling that I do. Now I'm taking my Lioness Hair Serum. This is the very expensive hair serum that I love. I start off at my roots but with a light touch and then I put most of it on my ends. Now I'm going in with my blow dryer. This is a Solia blow dryer that I've had for years. I love it. And I'm just using a round brush. So today I'm just going to round brush my hair because my hair is freshly washed. So I really don't like to curl it or anything when my hair is freshly washed. Now that my hair is freshly blow dried, I can move on to makeup. So to get started with my makeup, I am taking my Frankie Rose Facial Primer. This is a Prime Addiction, and going to and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Same drill, and then I'm going in with my Born This Way Foundation in the color Warm Nude. I'm taking my Beauty Blender, and I'm going to apply it with my Beauty Blender. Um, a couple of people asked me if I notice any oxidation with this foundation. I have noticed zero oxidation. So if you're having that trouble, I'm not too sure what it is because I didn't read anyone um, with that problem. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And now I am going to skip concealer just because this is going to be a more casual look. I'm not trying to go, you know, with the highlighter and everything. Well, I'm going to do the highlighter, <laughs> but uh, not the concealer and the light. <clears throat> under the eyes so now I'm going in with my fit me um, powder foundation and applying that all over my face now I'm taking my gimme brow uh, 3d brow gel and applying that on my brows I'm going to kind of skip through a lot of this because you have seen this a million times in my videos before then I'm taking my Cabral Brow Gel and just kind of making sure everything looks clean and smooth. Now I'm taking my TARDIS Pro Palette and I'm only going to use this eyeshadow right here. It's only going to be a simple eyeshadow look and I'm applying that on my lids and then I'm eventually going to take it into my crease but just because I want it more of a simple look I don't want anything dramatic today. Now I'm taking my tapered blending brush from Carity and applying more of that shadow into my crease and kind of blending it and flaring it out a little bit. Now I'm taking this fluffy brush, it's the E40 brush from Sigma, and I'm going to really blend all of that out. And I love this shade because it matches really a, a pretty good deal with my skin tone. It's only a couple of shades darker, so it doesn't look too dramatic. But once the light hits my eyes, you will see all that shimmer, which I love. And that's it for eyeshadow, super simple. Now I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm going to start with the outer wing. And I'm going to take this wing maybe about three quarters of the way to the inner corner. Normally I do like, um, I elongate the inner corner of my eye just so my eyes look a lot more wide. But today I'm not going to do that because like I said, I don't want a dramatic look. Now 
Now going in with my Frankie Rose Cosmetics Mascara and just applying that mascara on my top lashes. Now for lashes, I honestly cannot remember <laughs> what the name of these are, but I will have them in the description box. And these are more of a... Um, I don't want to say natural looking because they're definitely not natural looking, but they're not as dramatic looking as my other lashes. And then once I put those on, I am going to go in with mascara on my lower lash line. Now I'm taking this Pixi bronzer, and this is from their palette, and applying that underneath my cheekbones. I just needed to go with another bronzer since I always use the Hula bronzer. But I really do like this bronzer because it's not too dramatic, but you can make it pretty dramatic. So now I'm going in on my forehead and kind of adding some dimension. Now I'm taking this Frankie Rose blush and this is in the color Lola. With this blush, you have to be extremely careful. I literally just dabbed it a couple of times and look how much the brush picked up that pigment. So <laughs> it looks a little dramatic and I just didn't care to fix it. So as you can see, it's like super pink. So you have to be very careful because it's extremely pigmented. Now I'm taking this blue sapphire color and this is from the Alchemist palette from Kat Von D. And I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. I have not used the blue one, so I really wanted to use the blue one in this video. And I'm applying a ton of highlight on my cheekbones just to give some kind of pop since my look is kind of more on the, I guess, semi-natural side. <laughs> now I'm taking this Marc Jacobs shade in the color Fawn Over Me and applying this on my lips. Now this one is an extremely nude color for my skin tone. So since it was a little too nude and kind of blended in with my skin, I wanted to add a little bit more dimension. So I'm going in with Toast from NYX Cosmetics and applying that outline, oh, sorry, I cannot speak, outlining my lips with that color and kind of adding a slight ombre, but this is just going to give a little bit more dimension just so the uh, liquid lipstick does not blend in with my skin. And here is the final look. So now going in with my outfit, this is a Betty Page dress that I literally bought maybe about five years ago and I have not worn it for a long time. And it's extremely tight and I, I did, you know, clean that makeup <laughs> off of the neckline when I put it on. It's just really, really tight. So as you can see, I'm really pushing down on it. And you can see my shapewear underneath. This is a new shapewear that I tried. I actually didn't really like it that much because you can really see it underneath the dress. Um, but anyway, going in with these tennis shoes that I got at Payless, they were only $15. These are the kids size. So, um, it was buy one, get one half off. So I'm a size three in kids. And I just like this because I didn't have to wear heels with the dress. It just gives a very casual look, but still clean. And it, it's not too casual where it looks like I'm wearing sweats. And this is the dress since I didn't show it really completely. <laughs> and like I said, you can see all those hooks in the center. Um, but yeah, look at the shape where it like made my butt look square. So it's, it's supposed to like enhance your butt, but it just kind of misshaped mine, which looks awkward. <laughs> Um, and here is the full look with the tennies and the dress. This is one of my favorite looks lately, especially when I have my pin curls. But today, like I said, my hair was very uh, freshly washed, so I didn't want to mess with it. But it's super casual, but you can still go out, you know, have a couple drinks or <laughs> go to dinner and not have to worry about looking too casual. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this casual day look. I will see you soon loves. Bye!